So I just wanted to respond. Um, got some comments and questions that seem to add up to um, wanting to know what is meant by there's no one here, there's no one there. <clears throat> Excuse me. And what that's all about. So I thought I'd make a quick video, hopefully uh, answering the question of what do you mean by no one here? Um, so what is meant by that is that there's literally no one here or anywhere. There are no individuals. <clears throat> there seems to be, and I say seems to be because there's no one here to know. what's actually happening. Or that there's anything happening at all. There's an apparent flow of life. There's an apparent movement. There are things apparently happening Decisions seem to be made, actions are happening. But there's no decision maker, there's no source, there's no authority. There is no center anywhere. That's another misunderstanding. There's nothing special about the speaker or, or, you know, person that seems to be writing the books here or anywhere because <clears throat> no one has ever done anything. So there's no, <laughs> there's no credit. Ultimately, there's no blame, shame, credit, merit. That's only in the story. And so to get back to the question, what do I mean? There's no, there's no one here. There's obviously a body, there's billions of them, <laughs> um, apparently. And they all are a part of this apparent story of life, this uh, apparent flow of life, this apparent movement these things happening and decisions being made and dances being danced, movement, words coming out. I said this before, but I, I just, it bears repeating because I just heard somebody uh, saying this as if it was something special. Um, and they were making a big deal that um, they didn't write the books. That it was, <laughs> it was just um, flowing through them. And I laugh because, you know, you're not listening to this video. I'm not making this video, but I didn't, you know, I didn't uh, 
walk to work today, even though I went to work today. <laughs> even though I apparently, well, I didn't walk, I took the train. But anyway, um, the point was, I'm not drinking this water. I mean, it's not a big deal. Nobody's doing anything. Nobody's ever done anything. So, uh, the, the same is true for, for every apparent person. Um, that there is no free will and choice. There's no, and there's no one to have free will and choice. There's no chooser. There's just what's happening. And <laughs> it's just this one seeming perfect happening. And it's just amazing. It's amazing. And I don't know why. <laughs> I just feel like it's unbelievable that uh, I didn't just decide to do that. that this life is just a happening to no one, by no one, an unfolding, a flow. It's like a, I like the flow of life, you know? And there's nothing outside of it. There's nothing <laughs> going against the current, so to speak. It's all you know, because there is no separate doer or author or chooser, and because there's no authority, there's no higher, lower, better. Then there really is no such thing as a flaw or a mistake or imperfections. Who would, who would be to blame for an imperfection? <clears throat> who would be responsible? And there's also no one to be in awe and think it's amazing, but that's this outpouring of Awe, uh, wonder, amazement, love is uh, seems to be a response to wanting to describe or. Um, sort of reflect on uh, what those things mean. And they don't, <coughs> excuse me.
Excuse me. And they don't mean anything. But that's to me more unconditional love because it doesn't depend on anything. It doesn't depend on things being a certain way. Or You know, it's just already. Um, as others have said, whole, complete. There's no separation. <clears throat> There's no separate existence. There are no separate things, every apparent thing is included in this unbroken whole, this flow of life, which is a apparent um, change. Everything apparently changes, everything apparently dies, everything apparently breaks down. Things are born and things are made. But no one's doing any of that. No one's <clears throat> growing the grass or killing the grass. <laughs> um, so there's no cause and effect. Yeah, and, and people um, <clears throat> sometimes write to me and ask just um, what is non-duality, more or less. Uh, um, and um, I've done 30 interviews, I think, so far, different people uh, discussing it. And, um, you know, there's not two, and there's not one either, because there is no, thing, if there's no, <laughs> So there's no one apart from this because that would imply tuness. So this unbroken whole, this flow of life requires no one and no thing. Uh, and it's always been this way, <clears throat> which doesn't really make sense to say because there's no this 
And there's no always. You know, it's like <laughs> nothing ever happened. <laughs> you could say it that way. Um, there's no reality. So what you have is um, characters telling stories and um, there's no exceptions. <coughs> yeah, and that doesn't... Um, That doesn't imply a coldness, which I've seen um, a few comments as well. That, like this, uh, you gotta have a path with heart, they say. But uh, I think this is the, the this character in this character's story, it finds this uh, message to be beautiful. Um, because there's no method, there's no teaching, there's no requirements, there's no, it's just always already. So, There's no practice, there's no, but there's no one, see, so there's no one that's lacking that doesn't, you know, that uh, is not already a part of this flow of life, that is not already, included in this unbroken whole. Um, and there's not many, um, you know, spiritual, so to speak, uh, messages out there that aren't implying that, um, you know, you couldn't use a little improvement You know, that aren't suggesting, you know, there's some steps you can take, some principles you can learn. Now, I'm not saying that's not true for the character. Because um, in my story, uh, certainly seemed to be some growth And many mistakes made. And just uh, an ordinary life, you know? Uh, but there's no one doing any of that. There's no one living that life. There's no one having those experiences. There's no one having these memories these thoughts. They're just appearing. These thoughts are appearing, these words are coming out, these memories are <clears throat> showing up. <laughs> so, well, I think that's about it. Uh, anyway, I just want to also mention <clears throat> there is a Q&A coming up on Monday, July 11th at 2 o'clock 
Eastern time or seven o'clock in London time. Uh, so it's with uh, Don Garland and Don will be giving a short uh, introduction and taking your questions. So I will leave the link in this description. Please uh, come and join us if you can. Um, and you can uh, ask some non-duality questions of Don Garland. She'll be talking about non-duality and integration on Monday, July 11th at two o'clock Eastern time, <clears throat> excuse me, or seven o'clock British Standard Time, I believe. Well, you could also look it up. Um, okay. <laughs> Thank you very much for joining me um, and I'll see you the next time. Take care. Bye-bye.